the vintage stereo collectors. Here's an update on the Pioneer SA5200. Great looking integrated amplifier. I had to do a few things on it though. Um, I did mention the power switch was gone so I have replaced the power switch. And I basically recapped the entire unit. All the electrolytics. Uh, there's the old can cap. There's mainly what was in it. It was a combination of Elna and United ChemCon and a few Sanios. Uh, I believe they'd be all original. There's the new can cap there. Not quite as big. New power switch. Uh, the one thing I want to talk about was transistors. All but four of the transistors have been replaced. And this one's chased me around a little bit. Um, the output transistors... One, this one here, the original was blown and shorted. So it had a emitter collector short, which took out the driver transistor, which did a little scorching on the board. I don't know how well you can see it. So I replaced those to get it going, recap the board, and I've been chasing noise down ever since. And it's got a lot of these C1312s and 1318s in it, um, which are great uh, units. But they go noisy, and one thing I can tell you about them. Oops, if I dig one out here. It has discolored oxidized leads, and this is something I wasn't taught in college. In college, my teacher professor said, "Transistors either work or they don't." He goes, "A working unit works. One that doesn't work may have a short; it may be open." We never talked about some of the other problems that have shown up, but of course, that was quite a while ago when this was still a fairly new piece. Um, but what I found is almost any of them that have the oxidized leads are noisy or don't work. And that's kind of my guide. There's four I didn't replace. There's a pair here which somebody else replaced. I thought this was all original parts, but I noticed it has a couple of Matsushita transistors, which is... Um, uh, the differential pair may have, you know, one of them's gone bad. Uh, one thing I always do, let's say you have one blown out transistor. I replace all of them and I beef them up. This had like a, a 3 amp uh, 40 volt transistor. I use tip 31Bs, which are just a little sturdier. And it doesn't have to be the brand, same brand, doesn't have to be the same number. You match them for characteristics. And almost any of the signal transistors, I've used 2N3904s or 3906s. If it's in the driver section, I use something like a PN2222, which is a little more current handling. Um, you don't need to have exactly what was in it. In fact, I wouldn't recommend using new old stock. Anyway, same thing with capacitors. I mean... Some of these are Nishikon, and some are, I'm trying to think what they are, um, well, they're not Elma. There's a couple of Panasonics, there's some, uh, Chang Xs, um, Hitanos, and I know they're Chinese capacitors, but those Panasonics that you buy, um, those high-end Nishikons, they're not made in Japan anymore. They're made in China or Taiwan, and they're on the same assembly line, and many of them are contracted out. So capacitors is a really interesting game now. You don't always get what you think you're getting. What I look for are the ratings. Um, almost exclusively I go with 105 degrees Celsius um, because some of these do get pretty hot, especially in tube gear. Um, I always go over voltage. So let's say it had a 6.3 volt, uh, you know, 47 microfarad. I go 47 microfarad, but I'll go with a 25 volt. I buy 25 volts, 50 volts, 63 and 100 volts and I always go to the next size. You just get a little more resilience. Um, some of these were engineered to the point where the capacitor was a volt or two from being overvolted, if that's a word. Um, the other thing in the larger capacitors, ones that have the vent, um, it uh, just, you know, if you have one that blows on the older ones that's not vented, can make quite a mess inside the unit. Anyway, it's sounding really nice right now. Just a few little touches to do on it. Um, put some banana plugs on the back, run it for a few hours, burn it in. And uh, thanks for watching and listening.